A mole of any substance contains Avogadro's number of representative particles, or 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd representative particles. So here's some examples. One mole of carbon atoms, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of carbon. One mole of pickup trucks, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd pickup trucks. Representative particle refers to the species or types of particles in the, sub in the substance. For example, atoms, molecules, formula units, or ions. So let's start with a molecule of water, which is 18.0 AMU, and we want to find out how many molecules are in one mole of water, where we get up to a laboratory sample size over here. Well, there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. Notice again, we'll get to this a little bit later, the relationship between the AMU and the grams. They're the same. So if we have one mole of carbon, we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms. In one mole of water, there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. And we're going to call that molecules, and that works for any molecular or covalent compound. In one mole of salt, sodium chloride, there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula units. We use that for ionic compounds. Here's what a mole of carbon, sulfur, and silver look like. Here's one mole of carbon atoms, that's 12 grams of carbon atoms. One mole of silver, 107.9 grams. And one mole of sulfur atoms, 32.0 grams. We also have molar masses for compounds. Let's start with water over here. 18 grams of water is one mole of water. And how do we find that out? Well, here's oxygen. Go to the uh, atomic mass. 16 grams of oxygen is a molar mass of oxygen. We have two hydrogens, right? So two times one, two. So 18 grams of water is one mole of water. Over here, 16 grams of methane is one mole of methane. 44 grams of carbon dioxide, one mole of carbon dioxide. And finally, 180 grams of glucose, that's the biggest mass we have here, is one mole of glucose. To convert from moles to mass, or vice versa, use this formula over here. N is the number of moles. M, little m here, is the mass of your sample. Capital M is the molar mass of the substance. This is always applicable to any compounds, including gases.